so we are going to <coughs> today to try to understand what is politing okay. as you know and you can see that lightning is normally a huge giant spark of the of electricity actually <coughs> from pre recording days this has been happening in that atmosphere and that is the connect normally between the clouds and the ground the lightning is a flash which happens <coughs> because of certain discharges of static charges you know as if you study my lecture number 124 where i have discussed the very simple device of parallel plate capacitors in parallel plate capacitors if we charge a capacitor and this side the inside of it gains positive charge this side the gains equal negative charge and parallel plate capacitors the capacitance depends upon the area and also on the distance between the two plates it's a very simple thing. in between initially we teach that there is vacuum but then actually it is air normally between the two of them or you can have any kind of insulator the air or the insulator is a dielectric and this dielectric withholds does not allow the charges to uh, travel from one plate to the other plate or this plate to this plate okay from inside of the capacitor not from outside so and there is no field outside and there is no field outside on either side of the capacitance so the field exists only inside the volume contained by the capacitor <coughs> so what happens is that if the field is increased by increasing the charge over the plates then the electric field between them that also increases if you keep on increasing and increasing then what happens is called a dielectric breakdown so this dielectric breakdown allows the charges from inside to travel to the other side and the two plates get uh, zero charges so <coughs> that is only a transfer of charge from one body to the other body what exactly happens in the case of uh, this uh, kind of uh, electric phenomena which is occurring in the clouds now <coughs> clouds with uh, several layers in between there is air the cloud consists of water molecules what happens is that at heights in the atmosphere above the temperatures fall and hail particles called grapples are formed these grapples have a size as small as uh, the diameter of some of the grapples is as small as a quarter of uh, a millimeter and as large as a few millimeters now these hail particles they interact with super cool uh, tiny particles over there and when this uh, kind of uh, interaction takes place then the grapples have one kind of charge and those tiny particles super cool particles they have another kind of charge 
many layers are formed. Sometimes when the electric field which is uh, created over there is large enough, then a channel is formed and the charge travels from one to other and it neutralizes. So besides the damages which are caused by the lightning to the lines of tree or the high rise buildings or the top of mountains, when the flash occurs then there are certain nitrates which are formed and through the rain. So, I was telling you about the advantage. The advantage is that wherever there is lightning, the soil becomes fertile and that is because of the nitrogenated nitrates which are uh, which go into the soil through the rains etc and this is how uh, the things well <clears throat> i can say that uh, the no i can say that Though it has been explained very simply and those who know about the electrostatic charges, they will understand it fully. <clears throat> but the total phenomenon is complicated and laboratory models have been developed which are quite near the explanation that I have given to you. Thank you very much.